Hey, good morning everybody. This is Mr. Lorelli. I'm going to be telling you how to create a keyboard uh, from a piece of notebook paper. So this way you can still get all your keyboard practice in while we're all hunkered down at home and doing all that stuff there. So let me go ahead and show you first um, how it's going to work. Each key on the keyboard is going to be two spaces here on the notebook paper. So what you're going to do is just draw each key and each key is the size of two spaces on your notebook paper. Okay, so that's your first lesson, and this is for all grade levels. If you're in fifth grade, if you're in first grade, if you're in kindergarten, if you're in pre-K, obviously if you're a little, you know, for the students that's in pre-K and for the students that's in um, uh, kindergarten, you might need a little bit of help with this. But basically what you're doing, if you just look at the paper here, is you're just drawing one key and each key takes up two spaces. Now, after we're done doing this, what you're gonna do is label each key with letters. I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. So let's just go ahead and start with this first. And again, you're just kinda of starting halfway across the paper here and just drawing one key just like this for each, um, for each key on the keyboard. Now, parents, if you feel like, you know, your kid, your child is not able to do this and they're all the same size, because it is important with practice in piano that the keys are the same size, feel free to, you know, take the reins and do this for your child um, if uh, if they need a little bit of help to do it the right way. And again, we're just, just like that. Okay. And there. Now, we're going to, Draw in the black keys later. We're not going to focus on all that today. What we're really focused on is just getting these white keys so we can start playing in what we call the key of C. Okay? Um, so it's going to be C, D, E, F, G, A. And after G, obviously, you go back to the beginning of the alphabet again, and you're back to A. So we get that A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, and boom, you have your first keyboard. Lesson one, okay? Feel free to shoot me uh, a picture of, uh, of what you drew. I'll let you know if there's anything you need to fix, but this is lesson number one. You just draw the keyboard just like that. Like I said, each key is the size of two spaces on your notebook paper. If you do that, you should be good to go, all right?